What's up, man? How you How doing? How are you, sir? How's it going? I, I'm doing great. And I, you're you're from um, you're from Dorchester. Yes. And and Howie's from Charlestown. Yeah. So you two backstage, y'all weren't sizing each other up, were you? You know what? I was looking at Howie, and I was thinking, wow, my son's playing in the Super Bowl tomorrow and on Saturday in L.A. And there's kids Howie size playing 13 years old. Howie we, size. We have to authenticate these birth certificates, Mike. I'm telling you, <laughs> these kids are way too big. But you know what? You, you're from Boston. It's a great time to be from Boston. The Red Sox won the, the World Sox. Yeah, the Red Sox. They won the World Series yeah. again. The Patriots, they look like the best team in the AFC. Had it not been for you, we would have been 19-0. and 0. Yeah, no, it would have no been nice. To but this guy, thank goodness but, I was know. able to do that because I can retire yeah. and be here with you right now, yeah. man. But my question is, you got to get sick. Are you sick of these victory parades in Boston? No, it doesn't get tiring. It actually, you know, it, it's you don't want to get spoiled. I told my kids, you know, this is not common where we kind of dominate at this level for this long. Uh, we we sacrificed. There's been a lot of losing, a lot of depression. So winning is uh, it's, it's something that we can, you know, you can hang your hat on. I, I like it and enjoy it while you get it. Yes. But the thing is, um, who do you think is the biggest threat? To the Patriots because they do AFC, look like the best team AFC, in the AFC. AFC, you got obviously the Chiefs. Yeah, the Jets, not not the shit. You got the Chiefs. Yeah, the Chiefs and the Steelers. I think are the biggest threat. And I think obviously in the NFC, I mean the Chargers. Don't sleep on the Chargers either. Yeah. But you got the Rams and the Saints. I'm telling you, Drew Brees. He's he's a veteran. You know they just added at uh, Des Bryant. I mean they got they got some their weapons there. But I tell you what, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great finish to the season. You know the Patriots are gonna be there in the middle of it. And you got a great movie coming out, Instant Family. Yes. And and you know you train, you keep yourself in shape. But for a movie like this, you actually kind of have a built in because you are a father of four. You have a family already. Yeah. So what what is it? How would tell us about the movie? The movie is an amazing story about uh, my director, actually, Sean Anders, who did Daddy's Home 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. He and his wife became very successful, but they didn't have a family. And so they decided, well, we're getting a little older. Why don't we look into adoption? They adopted not one but three kids. And, you know, it was fun for a while, and then reality set in, and it got really difficult. But then they decided, you know what, that they were going to fight for the kids and fight to become a family. And in this day and age when families are being divided in this time of the holidays, this is a movie for everybody. It's so funny. It's so heartwarming. People are going to laugh and cry. It's amazing. I tell you what, you do it time and time again, man. Thank you for coming by Thank and hanging out with us. Me. Appreciate it. Thank you. See how those Patriots do this year for this man right here. The movie is Instant Family is in theaters November the 16th. Hey, you guys go check it out, all right?